um, I use them otherwise. Okay, got some crumbles in there. Green pepper and sweet potato into the little frying pan with the quinoa. Stir that up together. And it's only gonna cook for like uh, a minute. And then I'm gonna add the water and let it simmer with the cumin and the garlic and let the quinoa cook. And you'll know the quinoa expands and it looks like little round circles, um, like a circle inside a circle even. Um, when it's cooked. It's pretty neat looking. And again, it's a wonderful grain. So now I'm adding ground cumin. Have another bottle in case I need it. Cumin and wonderful garlic. And there's water over here. There is boiling for the noodles. Oh, I need to add my bay leaf. I'm going to add two bay leaves to the soup. Brings a nice spice, nice flavor. Now I have my noodles in the drain board, and only for a minute or two do we parboil this and then pour it back in here. These noodles, they're for the soup, they have um, a distinct aroma, um, and they talk about that on the package and tell you to rinse them really well um, and then dry them. I guess they could, I don't, I don't know anything about why they would smell the way they do, except the soybeans, I guess. Okay, so everything's going at a nice clip here, and I'm not turning on the fan, so I want you to be able to hear me. So it's getting a little steamy over here. <laughs> um, I think I will turn the soup down and let it actually simmer for a while. Timer. Two minutes. Those noodles. Now I'm going to make the stir fry. I think this little frying pan is not too small. I'll turn that on too, and then once I get that going, I'll probably turn the camera off for a moment, clean up some of this stuff so I can show you how to bake a cake. Yes, <laughs> cake, my famous dessert, or at least my favorite dessert, may not be too famous, not yet anyway. Oh, I forgot, there was one more I'm going to make. Um, meatball Parmesan, I found these new meatballs. Today, um, I buy vegetarian meatballs made from some soy protein, but this one is actually made, the main ingredient is eggplant. So I tried them for lunch with just some mozzarella cheese on them, and they were pretty good. So what I'm going to do with the vegetarian meatballs is take a few meatballs, put them on the cookie sheet with some of my um, sauce that I made for you a couple weeks ago that I had stored in the little container. I'm going to put the sauce and some... Kraft, fat-free mozzarella cheese, and I'm going to bake the meatballs, and that's going to be another little lunch that I'll have during the week. So let me start the stir fry over here and check on everybody. I really do love to cook like this. Um, it uses my creative energy and somewhat keeps me out of trouble. So, I lost one, two strips overboard. My nice little frying pan that I got for Christmas. I got two frying pans for Christmas and promptly ruined the first one. It was beautiful. I turned the wrong burner on and went in there and looked something up on the computer or whatever. I was like, what's that smell? Oh, just a new frying pan. Okay, simmer fry. And timer's going off so the noodles are done. And that pan's very hot. I'm going to let that simmer fry, and then I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce towards the end. The quinoa is um, cooking up, but there's still too much water in the pan, and it's not completely done anyway. And the soup should be simmering for a while uh, before we add in the noodles. Okay. Um, I don't know if you'd like, I can show you what I'm going to do with the meatballs. Since I didn't mention it, I think I already sprayed this pan, but what if I didn't? There, I sprayed the pan. I'm going to take three of these meatballs that would be 55 calories. And they're a good source of protein. And I'm going to... So I was going to show you that I'm making these eggplant meatballs. Three meatballs. 
little cup of my um, sauce that I've made in a previous video. And you know, you can even mush or cut these meatballs in half if you like. I think I will. Mix them into the sauce. And then use about an eighth of a cup of the mozzarella cheese. Because I don't need a whole quarter of a cup. So an eighth of a cup has 25 calories. Very good. That's a nice little part of a lunch, not supper. Uh, in the toaster oven it goes and on to about about 400 degrees for a few minutes till the cheese melts. 